Algebraic fractions work like any other fractions. We have the numerator up top and the denominator down the bottom. When adding, subtracting, multiplying or dividing fractions, the key is to find a common denominator. What makes these fractions algebraic? Well, instead of solving for one value with purely numerical fractions, we have our own unknown variables to deal with. This means we'll still end up with an answer that contains our variables, but in a much simpler expression. Simpler expressions mean it's easier to see what's going on. The best way to learn algebraic fractions is by example. Let's say we have these two fractions being added. Looks complicated. Let's make it simpler. Remember, the key is to find a common denominator. When adding or subtracting fractions, the foolproof way of doing this is by cross multiplying the denominator of the first fraction with the numerator and denominator of the second fraction and doing the same with the denominator of the second fraction upon the top and bottom of the first fraction. So the top and bottom of the second fraction will, in this example, be multiplied by this 3. And the first fraction will be multiplied by this 4 from the second fraction. Now things look more complicated. Stay calm, it's only an illusion. Both fractions now have the same denominator. 3 times 4 equals 12. We can tidy up those numerators as well. 2x times 4 is 8x, and x times 3 is 3x. So we still have two fractions, but now, because they have the same denominator, we can do this. See how those brackets come in handy? They're just saying that everything on top is being divided by 12. Can we simplify this fraction any further? Yes, we can add 8x and 3x, which gives 11x. It's important to understand that although our new fraction looks wildly different to our original two fractions, it is actually exactly the same. It's just written simpler for our own personal convenience. When things are exactly the same in maths, we write a sentence in maths that says so, using that beautiful equal sign. Subtracting works exactly the same way, except we subtract the numerators instead of adding them. Multiplying and dividing algebraic fractions is more straightforward. When we multiply two fractions, we simply multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. Up top, we'll have 2x times x, which is 2xx. And we know that x times x is just x squared, so we write 2x squared, nice and neat. Down bottom, things are simpler. We work out that 3 times 4 is 12. There we have it. 2x over 3 times x over 4 equals 2x squared over 12. We could be really clever and simplify this further as x squared over 6, because 2 over 12 is the same as 1 over 6. Dividing fractions is just like multiplying, but there's a secret hidden step. Let's say we're dividing our two fractions. Doesn't that just look horrible? Luckily, we remember that dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. Remember, reciprocal just means it goes around the other way. It gets flipped. So instead of 2x over 3 divided by x over 4, we can write 2x over 3 times 4 over x. And then we proceed as if it was just simple multiplication. So with addition and subtraction, we cross multiply the denominator of each fraction with the other fraction, giving a common denominator, and allowing us to add or subtract the numerators. With multiplication, we multiply the tops and multiply the bottoms, and simplify what we can. With division, we flip the divided by fraction around to form its reciprocal, and then multiply instead. Easy, 